What's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a shooting workout that you guys can do at home if you have a hoop. But before we get started with today's video, I wanna introduce you guys to Hoop Excel. It is our new online training platform that is going to help you guys plan and structure workouts that you guys can do in your backyard, at the gym, in your garage, wherever you're at. We have a 30 day ball handling program that you can do. If you don't have a hoop, you can have limited space and do it. We have a finishing section, a shooting section, we have a small sided game section and so much more. This is really gonna help you guys transform your game and get you guys better while you guys are on this quarantine. So make sure you guys check that out. Link will be in the description down below. Now, to get started with today's video, first thing we're gonna do, we always wanna get warmed up when we're about to work out, okay? So when we get warmed up right now, we're gonna go form shooting. We're just gonna go regular two hands on the ball, okay? Making sure that I am not hesitating at all. I wanna go up through a fluid motion right now. I don't wanna wait. Okay, I don't want to hold and then shoot. That's one thing I see players do a lot because in game situations, you don't want to just hold the ball right here and then shoot. I want to go straight up one motion right here. Okay, I'm going to go from all five spots. I'm going 10 without missing two in a row. Okay, so for time's sake today, I'm not going to do every single spot, but I'll show you. Let's pretend I made two or 10 right there. If I shoot it right here and let's say I'm at six and I miss it, okay, then I will go back down to zero. Okay, so let's say I just missed one, I'm at six, I missed this one, then I'm at zero, okay? All right, after we make 10 without missing two in a row right here, then I'll go to the corner, then I'll go to the next spot, next spot, and so on and so on, okay? So 10 at all five spots without missing two in a row. Now for our next drill, we're gonna be going over flow shooting, okay? So we'll go about 15 feet away from the bucket, free throw line, uh, elbow area. I'll start in a wider stance, okay? Feet are going to be outside my shoulders. I'm gonna slam this ball down. As soon as I slam it, I'm gonna replace my feet under my hips, sink my hips, and then flow straight into my jumper. I do not want any extra movements on this, okay? We're going to go six makes without missing two in a row. Make sure on everything that you guys do, you guys are challenging yourself. Okay, and setting goals for yourself. That is the way you're going to get become a better shooter. If it's six without missing two in a row is too easy, then set a higher goal. Okay, now for our next one, we're going to go hops towards the sideline. Okay, so again, we're working on getting our feet underneath our hips, but now we have to also work on catching the ball at different angles. Okay, so. As I turn, I'm right here, I'm in a wide stance. Once I turn back, I'm going to get my feet under my hips, go straight up. I'm gonna to go to both sides, making six without missing two in a row. I miss two in a row, I start over. If that's too easy, then set a higher limit. Straight up into my jumper every single time. I do that then I'll switch sides for time's sake today we will not switch sides you guys execute that at home now what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna set that ball in front of my face I'm going to drop the ball once I release that ball I'm going to quick again hop towards the sideline back and forth that ball can only hit once my hips are loaded I'm catching it going straight up again six without missing two in a row on both sides going straight up into your shot no extra movements okay then I'll go other side now for our next drill we're going to go dropping this ball again in front of our face we can do it mid-range and then we can also progress back to the three-point line as soon as I drop this ball, I'm gonna set a goal. I have to defense a slide and touch a certain spot on the floor before that ball bounces again. So I'm right here, I drop it, quick defensive slide, get back. I can step into a one-two or I can hop and get straight into my jumper. We're just working on getting to that spot quick and getting our feet set and then going straight into our shot. Now for our next drill, we're going to be going into quick pickups. So now I'll start again, 15 feet away from the bucket, and I'm gonna go between my legs three times. On the third one, I will replace my feet back under my hips, get into my shot. Okay, 
Okay, now after I complete six without missing turn around the right side, then I'll go to the left side. For my next one now, we're going to focus on getting into our shots off the dribble. So now I'll start as far back as you can. Okay, three point line. Or if you can't, if you don't have a three point line, then go a little bit closer. We will slam this ball to ourselves on the ground. Once we slam it, we'll get into a split catch. Ball side foot will come forward. So right now I'm attacking to my right. Right foot will come forward. I'm gonna waste no movements. One dribble, left, right, pull, okay? Again, challenge yourself, making six without missing two in a row. I also want you to be cautious of how long the steps are. Sometimes take a long step, then sometimes condense your steps. The reason we do that is because it depends on how much space we have in the game. Sometimes the defender only gives us a little bit of space, so we can only take a smaller step. After I make my six on one side, then I'll switch to the other side. Now we'll do the same exact thing going two dribbles, okay? When I attack now, the ball is going to slightly hit before my inside foot hits. So I'm going, if I'm going to my left, it'll be left hand dribble, right foot step, boom, straight up. All right, right, left, right, left. Now for our last thing we'll get into is we'll go to spot shooting. So now we'll go, ideally, if we have all five spots on the court, we'll go mid range and then we will go threes as well. We'll go six makes without missing two in a row at each spot. If you miss two in a row, then you start over. All right, so I'll start wherever I'm at. We'll go three point line for me right now. Spin that ball to myself. I want you guys working on hot footwork and then one, two footwork. Get comfortable with doing both. So I'm right here, spin it, straight into my shot. It's in two in a row. After I complete my previous spot, then I'll move to the next one. If you notice on the last one, I was working hot footwork. Maybe this time I'll work on my one, two footwork. Spin it, one, two, straight up. Okay, now for our last thing, before you're done with your workout, challenge yourself. If you have all five spots, go five threes in a row, one three from each spot. If you miss it, if you miss it at all, then you start over. For me, I only have three spots, so I'll go from these three spots. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know in the comment section what you guys want to see next.